All right, so if you are like me, then you have been basking in the fact that the Rams are now and still your 2021 Super Bowl champions. Okay, I just got my uh, got my Super Bowl hat today. Uh, family, my family went ahead and and bought this for me and my shirt. Very thankful for that. It looks super duper sweet. Um, the hat is very comfortable. I really like it. it's got kind of like a mesh interior and it feels good and the shirt's very uh very breezy so it's it's uh i like it i got the gray got the gray and i definitely definitely uh am expecting i will be definitely getting more i'm expecting the uh dvd sometime soon it seems to be taking a little bit but that's okay but um point is definitely enjoying it Definitely enjoying it, and I recommend that y'all do the same, because we do not know what the future holds, but we are Super Bowl champions now, until next February, when the Super Bowl will be played, uh, I think it's in February, and maybe we'll be in it, and maybe we won't, but one thing is for sure, we're champions now, so I am going to milk that for as long as I can, and uh, I suggest that you do too. Okay, I'm on cloud nine when it comes to Rams football. And so, what happens next? Well, what happens next is we turn our attention to the offseason, right? And in the offseason, there is generally a lot of uh, smoke and mirrors, generally a lot of rumors, a lot of leaks, reports. Oh, is he going to go here? Is he going to go there? Are we going to pick up this player, that, that player, let him go? It's just a whole lot. You know, it's good to remain steady and uh, see what happens. And the Rams, j just to very, very quickly catch up, this this whole story about Sean, Sean possibly retiring all kind of started during media week at the Super Bowl. And I, I got to be honest, I, I you know, I don't know if Sean. I really was not never convinced that Sean was uh, going to leave. You know, I think maybe this was a a kind of a move for a like a negotiation move, which I don't blame him for. But essentially, what it was is he was asked if he could see himself playing until he was sixty by one of the members of the media, and Sean said, "No way." He said, "No way am I going to make it to 60. Uh, I won't make it there. He said he went on to talk about how he wants to have a family, raise a family, and he doesn't want to miss out on that experience, which I get. And I, and I completely get that, Sean. I really do. It's, you know, and from there, just the sports media took that and ran with it. All right. They took that and they were like, oh, my God, this uh, I think Sean might be retiring after this year. Uh, what's he going to do, this, that, or the other, if he wins, this, that, the other, is he going to get into broadcasting, you know, and he goes on to win the Super Bowl, and those rumors are still circulating, we get to the parade, the victory parade, Sean is, says he wants, you know, he, there's the whole thing where he goes, run it back, run it back, run it back, Aaron Donald says, run it back, run it back, run it back, but, uh, they're wasted. Okay, so while yes, they did say that, it's important to keep in mind that yes, they were in fact wasted. So it's kind of uh, or something where I would like to hear them kind of confirm that when they're sober. And of course, you had his fiance putting up a thing on Instagram saying he's not retired, but yet the. Uh, the rumors were still circulating as they always will in the offseason. So just my advice for that is just to always take that with a grain of salt. However, there was a report that old Amazon here offered Sean McVay as much as $100 million for five years. Which is quite a chunk of change, let me tell you. So it was a report from uh, Mr. Andrew Marchin of the New York Post that McVeigh and Amazon were going to meet next week. 
uh, before McVay opted to return to the Rams for next season. There were sources that told Marchand that Amazon was ready to give up as much as $100 million over five years to join the broadcasting team for Thursday night football. And I got to be honest, I, I think Sean would be a good broadcaster. I really do. He's got like the charisma, but, uh, you know, Sean, Sean, uh, Sean's already got a job, you know, so, uh, I just don't, I, I just, I've never, I just, this whole time, I just never bought into the fact that Sean would leave, but I gotta say, if he would leave, I mean, a hundred million dollars is no joke, y'all. That is no joke, man. That will definitely cause me to to pause, at the very least, which I'm sure Sean himself did. But essentially, the deal was he would get twenty million per year. He's getting currently eight point five million a year right now with his current salary. Uh, McVeigh has said, but but it, McVeigh has said no to the TV deal he and amazon were going to meet next week amazon was going to give him 100 million but uh he stepped up i guess the rams obviously have stepped up with a raise for his reported 8.5 million on to the next one according to andrew marchant in fact i think sean has a very real opportunity to go down as the next great coach i said it sean i think you can be the next great coach i really do i really really do I saw the improvement. I saw the adaptability uh, over the course of this season. And, and I, I, I think you got it, Sean. I think if you would like, you can make a serious run here. So, an extension is likely coming for McVay. Absolutely. Uh, as he has led the Rams to two Super Bowls in four years. Uh, winning his second appearance over the Bengals in Super Bowl, Super Bowl 56, as you all know. Uh, in order for the Rams to keep McVay, they likely had to open up the checkbook for their coach to keep him from bolting to broadcasting. And it won't be long before we learn that McVay has signed an extension and a lucrative one at that. Now, and as I'm sure the Rams already know, Mr. Kroenke, I will have to say that this guy, Sean is the golden goose okay this is the golden goose this is the one you overpay for okay sean is vital to the future success of this team okay he has turned this culture around so fast okay we were terrible awful awful team okay we went 13 years without a winning season sean comes in and in one year turns our culture around, gets us to the playoffs in one year. We get bounced by the Falcons. Next year, we go to the Super Bowl. You People like Sean do not come around very often, so we need to pay him, all right? And it is it makes me happy that he is, in fact, staying on board. And uh, I wanted to show Cooper Cup went ahead on Twitter, according to Camera Da Silva, with the news that Sean was in fact not leaving for television with this uh, little smiley emoji. This little super, super duper happy emoji. That's Cooper Cup right there. And breaking news from Adam Schefter. Adam Schefter, Sean McVay told ESPN that he is not pursuing. And, you know, with ESPN, I'm, I'm a little, I've always been a little suspect. I would like to hear it from Sean's mouth, but it, it, it seems to be confirmed that he is not leaving. Cup seems to be happy about it. You know, it's just, I've never, I, I'm glad he's coming because I know his contract is uh, expected to be done soon. Uh, there's a tweet that... From uh, Adam Schefter again, less than two weeks later, Zach Taylor, the head coach of the Cincinnati Bengals, has inked a new deal. Congratulations to him. And Sean McVay's deal is expected soon. So, some people... 
I mean, damn, man. I mean, a hundred million for five years. I don't think the Rams are going to match that. I, um, Lord have mercy. That's twenty million per year. But Sean's worth it, man. I mean, Mister Cronky, if you're going to pay a hundred million for five years to any coach, like give give that money to Sean because people like Sean do not come around very often. We cannot squander this opportunity by being too cheap. I know you know this, but we have a real opportunity to repeat. Will we do it? I don't know. But I can tell you this much. We won't do it if Sean is not on this team. So, I mean, we need to we need to pay him. Is it going to be $100 million? I doubt it. Um... It's definitely going to be more than 8.5. I could probably see, uh, I mean, just guesstimating here, probably like the 10, 15 million a year range. I don't know with some incentives, most likely. But, you know, even maybe even with the incentives, you might just want to give the money up front because Sean has earned it. Okay, people just don't do what Sean has done here. I know... A lot of people have been clowning on the Rams saying, oh, we're paper champions. Oh, we we just went ahead and bought, you know, bought this Super Bowl with uh with trading for all them picks for all these high profile players. Well, it's like, well, you know what? Here's the thing. It's not like basketball, okay? There are 53 players on a football team, and only a small handful of those are superstars. And the rest of the team, with the fact that we filled out, that we gave up so many picks for these superstars, the rest of the team has to be filled out with low draft round picks and undrafted free agents, like dudes off the street. And Sean had these dudes playing so well in the playoff run, man. People like Kendall Blanton. People like Bryson Hopkins, the hero of Super Bowl 56. Uh, people like, I mean, people, oh, just, Lord, like Ashawn Robinson. I know he was more of a high high piece, but the entire offensive line. I mean, we'll talk about the old line. I've been, I, I, I gotta, I gotta talk about the old line. I'm proud of what the old line did, but overall, I think we can upgrade. Um, is what it is, boys. Just, just how I feel. But Sean has gotten these players to buy in and it was enough to win a Super Bowl and there's a really good chance we could repeat. So, that's going to be it for now, guys. I very much look forward to seeing Sean's new contract. He has earned it. Sean, congratulations. You, uh, you have done a terrific job. I know I have been super critical of you throughout the year, but... I got to tell you, man, you, uh, what, what you've done is incredible and, and I'm very, very grateful to have you as our coach. And I really hope that you, that you stick around for a while. You know, if you want to go to TV after you win a few Super Bowls, that's fine. I get it. But, uh, I, I, th I think something special could happen here and it, it will not happen it will not happen without you. So I hope you stay for a long time. So that's going to be it for now, guys. I will catch you guys on the next one. And as always, Super Bowl champion Rams, baby. We are the Super Bowl champs. That that's I'm going to milk that for all it's worth this entire offseason. So go Rams.